Hi friends, welcome to the channel of learning by uh, doing. We are uh, seeing many tags in the HTML5 and today also we are going to see some more tags of HTML5. Now I'm opening my notepad plus plus as usual and uh, today yesterday we are talked about the date picker and all these right and today we are going to talk about some more things like in the input tag itself as in uh, elements what are the other elements attributes which are present in the input tag. Uh, now I'm going to delete this um, and uh, here uh, we, uh, yesterday we seen about the date but today I'm going to talk about the time how to click uh, how to put the time on our web page uh, we are going to talk about this today this is nothing but the time picker uh, I hope you are going to uh, see how it's going to be work I'm just using the zoom control plus plus okay I hope you are going to see uh, and the time picker to set some default values how to put the how to set the default values same as usual I mean uh, similar to the date picker itself input and we have given the type as uh, uh, time as usual and uh, we have given uh, one more thing for this as value uh, value to be as we need to put some default value for this like uh, 22 hours uh, 53 minutes and uh, I have put like this and 0 5 seconds and all this whatever you want it is a random value what I got in my mind that's it and uh, this is the default time picker how can you uh, going to be work on with this is about the time and um, I'm going to talk about one more tag of the uh, one more attribute in the input uh, tag that is uh, another type one which is known as search if you want to, if we are going to see the search button I mean search uh, we need to search something here we have directly one of the text box which is going to be displayed no need of uh, writing the text boxes and all this for this we can uh, just write the search in that and it will going to display the search button as usual it is a self-closing uh, uh, slash so I'm doing the slash and I'm just closing it, it it's not uh, necessary if you will give also no problem if he doesn't give also the no problem and uh, I'm going to talk about some more tags in this like uh, we had already talked about the form tag right which is uh, a well-known tag for you all uh, in this form tag today I'm going to talk about uh, the email email how do how we can write the email right this is also as usual and normal we can work on with the input tag because we are going to whatever the thing that we are going to give from our uh, keyboard i mean from uh, from our side that is the input that we are going to give into our system right that is what are uh, these type of all the things were given in the input tag email also we need to give to the system that's why we are going to put in the input tag and what is the type of that uh, that is nothing but email very user friendly word email and the uh, for that I need to give some value value for that uh, or a title also we can write um, we can write it as enter the email um, email um, ID enter the email id that's it whatever i want to display for my uh, uh, for my uh, title and the, the what is the input type of it um, is the email as usual and if after entering this um, after entering this we can write it as we can submit right so the what is the type for it which is the well known that we will we are already discussed in our previous classes as usual the submit button okay then the form form tag will be gets closed this is nothing but uh, the talking about the email how we are going to give the email for um, our web page okay guys um, we'll see how it's going to be look in our uh, web page um, we'll just open the chrome and we'll reload it we can see what's going to be get displayed hello sorry I hope I didn't saved it um, let me save it control yes and now we are going to see again what's going to be display okay see guys see here uh, for the first thing I have put just a time and I didn't mention any default value for that so it was uh, looking as I'll put break here because it may look uh, clear for you uh, that's why 
I'm putting break here um, everywhere okay uh, see first I mean the first time we have just given the time without any value I mean like without any default display value for that so that's why it came just as uh, normal um, with, uh, we can give the value whatever we want that 58 56 and all this and if in here also we can give whatever the value we want okay guys and here i have given some default value so it starts with the default value as usual and next it was the search button whatever you can write and you can search by using pressing enter i mean like no need of putting the input tag and the text box values and all these things for this and in the email id we can give the email uh, by following the uh, at the rate uh, gmail.com and all this this is nothing but the email uh, email tag and the submit button was as usual that is one of the button okay guys uh, this is all about um, this is all about the uh, number of tags we are learned in the history ml5 uh, i hope you are all get understood if you like my video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching my video